Hello and let's talk about finance function on your calculator. This is specifically on how to solve uh, compound interest, uh, which is what we talked about in previous videos. So let me show you my calculator. And essentially, it's the one of the few functions you're allowed to use on a test. There's actually only two functions you're allowed to use. It's finance and poly SMLT, but we'll talk about this later. We'll, you, uh, it's, it's the one that you use to solve quadratic equations. But this finance here is for financial problems. Now, the one one we'll be using right now is the first one called TVM Solver. We're not going to go in here. We're not going to go in here. We're just going to go in here. And this is what you'll get. I already have some numbers here. So let me just erase them. Um, but basically, this is from a problem that we did the last time. And uh, this is what you see here. And I'm actually going to write down these values so that you know them. I'm going to write them down right here on the left. Uh, but basically, what this is what means uh, N is a number of years. So let's just go with the previous problem. That's when we invested thousand dollars at two percent for uh, ten years. So our N is ten. N is ten years. So N is number of years. I percentage. That's your interest rate. So for us, it was two percent. So let's just say it's going to be two percent right here. Then the next one value is PV, and that's present value. So this is how much money we have right now. Now, there's a thing here. You actually have to enter it as a negative number because you, it's technically you're depositing money, you're losing money, so it's uh, taking away money from yourself. So we're investing $1,000, so you're going to have to enter minus 1000 The next value, PMT, represents payment that you want to make each period. So this is for one uh, more complex um, situations when you're actually trying to invest money every month on top of your initial investment so that at the end you'll have a lot more money. Um, this is very useful for real life situations when you actually, like, let's just say you make some money every month and you want to invest a little bit more into your um, into your savings account so that eventually you have like a big chunk of money at the end. But for our purposes, we're just going to leave this at zero. FV is what we're looking for, so we're going to leave it as zero, and FV is basically a final value. So PMT and FV, I'm going to write them right here. PMT is payment each period, and FV is your final value. The other thing you want to know is uh, this next value, P divided by Y. P divided by Y represents payments per year. So this is when um, you may actually have more than one payment per year um per year so for example when you're um when you decide to invest money more than once a year and the last value right here c uh divided by y c divided by y i'm gonna write right, right here on top c divided by y this is compounds per year so this is when the interest is paid more than once per year so for, for example monthly interest uh compounds per year in other words if your interest is paid monthly you will enter this as 12. Anyway, so let's uh, let's try to calculate this. So we have 10 percent. Oh, sorry, 10 years, 2 percent, and we invested thousand dollars. So uh, you go into into this value. This is what we're looking for, and then you have to click on. This is one of the first times we're using this button, alpha and enter, which will solve the equation, and you'll get your answer right here, 1218 dollars, which is exactly what we had in previous video as well. Now this can actually be useful for when you have to find some other. Uh, variable instead of final value. For example, let's just say you have your final value. Let's just say it's five thousand dollars, and you have your interest rate, which is let's just say five percent, and it's also going to be ten years. And what you're now looking for is your um, your original investment. So how much did you, did you invest originally? So instead of actually doing this by hand, if you just solve it, it'll give you the value right away. It's three thousand six sixty nine dollars. And 56 cents so this is basically a much easier way of solving it however remember that on a test you still have to write how you found this so you can't just solve this on a calculator so if you're actually solving this what you will have to write on the test is so for example for our first uh, problem that we did you have to write that n equals to uh, 10 i percent equals to 2 uh, your primary your present value is uh, minus 1000 and then you at the end you write your final value equals to 1218 and uh, here even if you just write a few uh, what buttons you press you can actually write used finance or used finance button um, this would be enough for you to get full marks if however you just write the answer you're probably going to lose the method marks and only get the correct answer marks Anyway, so this is how you use finance function for compound interest, and hopefully this was helpful. 
Thank you and good luck to you. Bye-bye.